Hey guys, welcome to Beer Time. Kyle here. Let's do some day drinking. Falls right around the corner. The leaves are starting to fall from the trees, and it's a little cooler in the morning when I get up, and I like that. I'm one of these people that love fall, and a lot of folks do. And so if you're going to go for the fall beer choice, what you're going to do is probably reach for a pumpkin ale or a beer with pumpkin in it, right? I know people are terribly... Um, you know, mixed on this, people either like it or hate it, or they love it and hate it, right? Or they just want me to go away if I'm talking about it. But I thought I'd get one that's kind of a better, a better beer, kind of a best of class. I've had a lot of different pumpkin beers, and I'm going to have one of my favorites today. This is from Schlafly out of St. Louis, and it's their pumpkin ale. It's obviously a special release from them, but one thing that's interesting about it is, one, it's delicious. But two, it's pretty high gravity. It's running in at 8%. And it's a great bargain amongst punks, pumpkin beers. It's, you know, eight fifty nine 9 bucks a six-pack. And it's basically a high gravity, a higher gravity offering. And so what this thing does is it doesn't try to be anything else other than basically a glass of pumpkin pie. And if you don't like that, then you're just, you know, you're going to scramble. But this does it really well. It's all in balance. Let's give it a try here and uh, and see if this can uh, turn my day right side up. You can tell from my voice it's a little harsh and a little, little hoarse and I maybe need some hair of the dog here to lighten my step. So on the nose is clove, nutmeg, a little bit of sweet alcohol notes. And basically what you're getting here is just Good old fashioned, you know, grandma's uh, pumpkin pie. It is very good. If you like pumpkin beer, and particularly ones that just taste like pumpkin pie, this thing is just kind of best of show. It's really great. It's not hot because of the little higher gravity, and not that 8% is probably going to do that. But, you know, a few of these would really sneak up on you. And you know what? These pumpkin beers tend to be a little sweet for some folks. Not me, but I'm not going to drink a ton of these. And I really do love this. Hmm. I was actually kind of surprised that I found it in my marketplace. Schlafly's got a little bit larger, and they're making this earlier and earlier every year. And a lot of, a lot of times people are complaining about that. It's like when they put mums out at the grocery store in mid-August and uh, people were still basically just just dying in the streets of heat stroke and, and all of a sudden people are trying to, you know, force fall on you. But I got to tell you, if you're going to force fall on somebody, this is not a bad way to go. It's got all those flavors in it that you're looking for. It's super satisfying. Mm. It's sweet, delicious beer with just a great super pumpkin pie flavor profile to it. I really like it a lot. You know, and I think this can hang with some of the, the big boys out there that have been making some really high quality stuff like Pumpkin and those guys. I think this this is in its own right is it, it it's because it's terribly it, it's balanced so well and that's awesome. If you're gonna get out and you need a pumpkin beer or you want to try one, this is a place to start. It's just kind of, you know, I think it's just one of the better ones out there. It's Schlafly, uh, St. Louis Brewing Company, and it's their uh, pumpkin ale. It's super tasty. Get out and get some. It's perfect for fall day drinking, right? And mm, it's going to fortify my day. I'm super excited about it. And I hope you have a great day. I'm going to have a great day, and I'll catch you later. Cheers. Hey.